This is what silence does to the narcissist. Sometimes the narcissist wants you to be silent. They don't want you to have a voice. They don't want you to have the right or power to influence or make a decision about something. They don't want you to have an active or participatory role. They want to train you. They want to groom you. They want to take away your rights to express your opinions. They want you to be silent. Because in their minds they see you as an object or a tool. As something that they can use because they feel entitled to you. But then time goes by and you find the courage to stand up to them. So you call them out. You confront them. But then it triggers them. It causes a narcissistic injury. Which is followed by narcissistic rage. And then you learn to just stay quiet. Because you don't want to deal with the gaslighting. So then they've successfully accomplished what they were trying to do. They managed to groom you. They managed to keep you silent. But now that you have found my community. You should be aware that you have the right to speak your mind. To express your opinions and say what you want to say. As long as it is real and authentic. But you cannot have a real or authentic conversation with a narcissist. Which is why by the end of the relationship you learn to become silent. Because you understand that they are not deserving of having access to you. They are not worthy because they will only use it and mistreat you. They will only use you for the wrong purpose. Which is why you may just send a block of them and go in no contact. Because that's the only way that you can protect yourself. It doesn't mean that you have to feel any hatred towards them. It doesn't mean that you have to take revenge. Just leave them to continue with their lives. And then you can move on and continue with yours. Because they will find someone else. And it won't take them long to replace you. Because they don't see us as separate people with our own personalities and souls. In their minds we're all just objects to be used. So we could be exchanged for something else or something better. Which is why when you're silent they will be seeking new supply. They will be on their phones or they will be planning your failure or downfall. Because they never cared about you. They didn't fall in love with you. They didn't attach to you. They just wanted you to attach to them so that they could control you. And then they could be the puppet master. Because what they're really seeking is power and control. Because they're very insecure and they have low self esteem. They need you to provide them with a source of security and stability so that they can feel more confident about themselves. But when you go silent, it's because you see who they really are. You see who they've always been. And you realize that their behavior is unacceptable and it is not welcome in your life. Because you're not meant to be manipulated. You're not meant to be used or abused. So you realize that they're mistreating you. You realize that they're using you for the wrong purpose. And that is why you go silent. Because you understand that it is a more honorable and ethical course of action. Even though they may be talking about you behind your back and spreading rumors about you. You still choose to do the right thing. You choose to ignore the people who choose to criticize or oppose you. Because they don't know you. And they don't know what you had to go through. You don't have to explain yourself to them. 
because they will already have shown you that you should not want anything to do with them. They've eliminated themselves. They've shown you that they are not suitable for you. So now all you've got to do is keep it moving. You've got to continue with your healing. You've got to stay silent. And when you do that, it will have an effect on them because you're not giving them what they want. You're not giving them your energy and attention. But you can't just go silent with the narcissist. You have to go silent with anyone who is associated with them as well. Because they will use their flying monkeys as tools to get to you. They will use other people to do their bidding, other people to act on their behalf. But if there's one thing they really can't stand, it's your silence. Because in the past they had control over you. They controlled what you did and who you were with. They controlled your daily activities because they put you in a state of confusion where you were under their spell, where you were under their control because you didn't know what you were dealing with. You just knew that it was degenerate. You knew that they had lost or never had the mental and moral qualities considered normal and desirable. You knew that they were immoral and corrupt. You saw through their mask. You realized something wasn't right. But that is also when you found your power. Because then you flipped the script. You reversed the usual and existing positions by doing something unexpected. By giving them your silence because you know the truth. You know what went down. You know who is in your corner. And you know who isn't. Because some of them may have been manipulated by the narcissist. But it doesn't matter. As long as you're not giving them supply but they won't even need your supply anyway because they're likely already involved with someone else or they've already got someone lined up and that person will go through similar experiences to what you did but now they will know that they're not going to get anything from you because you already know what they're about you see through them and you may feel regret for what you went through but it was important for you to have that experience because that is what made you the person that you are today where you have the awareness where you are wiser and more knowledgeable and there was no other way for you to get to this point Thank you for watching. If you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up. Share your thoughts in the comment section. Hit the subscribe button to receive the notifications. If you would like to support the channel, you can donate at paypal.me slash narcsurvivor. You can book a one-on-one -on -one with me on my website. It's narcsurvivor.co.uk. Thank you for watching and I'll talk to you soon.